alone, they walked along and looked at the pond. Water lily, said Mama. Their leaves are floating too, said Buddy. But water lilies have roots that anchor them in the mud, said Mama, and long underwater stems. So we can't see their roots, but they're underneath the mud. When there's a lot of rain, the water in the pond rises, and so do the lily pads. Those are their leaves. Then I think that when the water goes down, the lily pads will go down too, said Buddy. I think you're very smart, said Mama. Suddenly, Buddy stopped. Is that a dragonfly? Mama looked in the field guide. It's a damselfly. Buddy held very still until the damselfly flew away. Mama read, you can tell the difference between a dragonfly and a damselfly when they land. Dragonflies land with their two pairs of wings outstretched. Damselflies land with their two pairs of wings close folded to their bodies. Look, said Buddy, on the lily pad. Lily pads make great landing pads for damselflies and dragonflies, said Mama, and islands for frogs, and shade umbrellas for fish. Do you see another animal inside there on the stem? It looks like a, some sort of snail. Buddy started drawing. Mama read, dragonflies have big eyes that cover most of their head. Look at how big their eyes are. Their eyes allow them to see in all directions, even behind them. They can fly forward and backward. They can stop and hover like a helicopter. They can even fly so fast, they can use their legs and feet to catch other flying insects to eat. Did you say eat, said Buddy? I'm still hungry. They spread a blanket on the grass and unpacked their picnic. Buddy made the buns, celery, tomatoes, and carrot sticks into sandwich turtles. Then he asked, Mama, what kind of drawing pad do you use at the pond? What kind, she said. A lily pad. Get it? Drawing pad, lily pad. Mama laughed again. After lunch, Buddy picked up a stick and drew in the dirt. I hope I see a real turtle. Let's go back to the edge of the pond and keep looking, said Mama. The pond bottom was mucky. I see pebbles. And I see something brown. It's moving, shouted Buddy. Mama yelled, scoop it up quick. Buddy scooped. A salamander, said Mama. Look at its tiny front toes. Buddy counted them. Its skin is so soft, it's very wiggly. Buddy put the salamander back in the pond. Back to your home. When a salamander walks, it spreads out its toes. Look at how Buddy's spreading out his fingers. When a salamander swims, it pulls its toes together like a fin, said Mama. Buddy drew on his pad. Look, he wrote side of salamander. Do you think there are any turtles in this pond, he asked. There probably are, said Mama. Let's look on tree limbs that have fallen in the water and on the tops of rocks. They packed up and walked on. Buddy saw something. He stopped. Bugs zip, zip, zipping all around. They're water striders. See their long legs? The field guide said they're also called pond skaters. Buddy watched them. They have really long legs. I'm going to draw some pond skaters. This is kind of funny. You see how he drew the first um, one on the top with like ice skates? And then he drew a real one that he used with his scientist eyes. How do they stay on top of the water, he asked. Mama read while Buddy drew. They are very light, so they're not heavy, and they skate on the water surface. They kept pond walking and looking for turtles. Turtles are reptiles, said Mama. They can't make their own body heat, so they sit in the sun to stay warm. But they're skittish. Ooh. They'll slip into the water faster than you can say. Turtles, said Buddy. What do turtles eat? I think they catch bugs for lunch and flies for dessert, said Mama. Did you say dessert? Can we have another cookie, asked Buddy. 
Soon they climbed on a big rock. Mama, why was the turtle a good baseball player? Why, asked Mama. Because he could catch flies. Mama laughed. I don't get that joke. I don't know baseball. Buddy yawned. A cloud turtle. Wait a second. Do you see what's next to him? Turtle. Oh, where'd it go? I saw a real turtle. Mama smiled. Look at the colors he chose. He noticed brown and green, so he chose those colors. Nice art, said Mama. Time to head on home, my young limnologist. Limnologist. What's that? Somebody who likes to climb tree limbs? A limnologist studies and learns about ponds, said Mama, just like you. As they walked back to the car, Buddy pointed. Mama, look, a huge, giant turtle, shouted Buddy. Wow, said Mama, I think that's the biggest turtle in the world. I want to make a rock turtle. That's a super idea, said Mama. And when they got home, Buddy did. The end. At the end of the story, there's something kind of neat. There is how to make a rock turtle. Paint by painting the rock and cutting paper into shapes. I would use recycled paper. And then after the paint is dry, you can glue on the head and tail and legs onto the pretend shell. That's the end. Thank you for reading with me. I know this was a little bit of a long book, but Buddy saw a lot of cool things. And if you go on a nature walk or a pond walk, you can explore too. All right, have fun, happy adventures.